हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज़ संजय पराशर एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल इंटीग्रेशन गुरु सो इन आर प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी स्टार्टेड डूइंग कोडिंग एंड वी डेवलप अ कोड यूजिंग वन ऑफ द सोआ कंपोनेंट्स कॉल्ड बिजनेस प्रोसेस एग्जीक्यूशन लैंग्वेज बीपल एंड टुडे वी विल बी फॉर्मिंग अ सिमिलर सॉर्ट ऑफ फंक्शनैलिटी यूजिंग अ डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ सोआ विच इज़ मीडिएटर so let's get started so we'll create a new project like this and we'll call it let's say hello mediator and next as you can see we have this mediator here but let's keep it as a blank composite for now and we will drag and drop the mediator from the component panel itself so let's finish it and now as you can see hello mediator project a blank project has been created right here so this is the mediator and this is the people which we used in previous tutorial and today we are using mediator so before actually starting the development let me tell you in what scenario we should go for people and in what scenarios we should go for mediator so in people we can achieve a lot more complex business logic so if there is a lot of complex logic involved in order to fulfill the requirements of your project it's recommended to use people process but if there is not much business logic required it's just we are getting data from the source and we are just transferring the data and publishing the data to the target in that scenario mediator comes in handy mediator is also known as uh, inter enterprise service bus of a smaller scale but if the data is huge in in millions and billions then oracle service bus is recommended which is a different software different oracle middleware tool all together but if we are dealing with bulk data in bulk but in thousands then mediator can do the trick and you don't have to get a new product all together to take care of that so let's drag and drop mediator to the component section here we can again it's as i said it is almost similar to what beeple is it just in beeple we get the resources to build a complex logic and in mediator we have limited number of resources to deal with so this is in the template section you can see these all options were explained when we created the tutorial for beeple so for now we'll just keep it as uh, let's say synchronous and we will keep it as single string single string a by default schema which uh, this mediator will create for its own here we go so here that m plan file is created so if you will notice in beeple project beeple folder was created and dot beeple file was created and in mediator we have mediators and m plan file is being created and this is the schema which is already uh, which automatically got created the moment we created this mediator so if we open this on the right side if you see there is there are no activities unlike people so just just to make a fair comparison here i'll open this people process as well that we created uh, on our last tutorial you can see there are like tons of activities that we can deal with we have loopings uh, as you can see i mean oracle extensions we have different activities so we have a lot of tools we have a lot of resources to play with uh, a lot of resources to actually achieve our business requirements however in m plan we do not have that much uh, resources to actually build a complex logic out of it however it's not that there is nothing we can do it we can do in it so there are routing rules we can define and using those routing rules we can either use a java callout or we can do complex transformations as well using xslt 
so these sort of things we can do we can call different web services as well so we can definitely do a lot using mediator as well but it's it's even recommended by oracle as well that if the business logic is complex then go for people if it's a straightforward taking data from source and putting into the target then you can certainly go for mediators from as our requirement is to get uh a user input and then return hello along with that user input we will only need to keep it as a echo reply we just want to reply back a hello message to the user we will keep it here and we will use this assign value similar way we did with the uh, people process however if you want you can also use transform which is xslt uh, to do the same but for time being let's keep it simple and we will use this assign activity only so and uh, now as you can see it is absolutely similar to what we did before people we will use this concat we'll say hello exactly the way we did for people and we'll click on okay so obviously in real time scenarios you you guys will not be dealing with this that simple requirement so having expertise of xslt definitely comes in handy because in an xslt we actually transforms the data from source to a desired format of target so schema can be different in source and target and stuff like that and if we want to even change the native format of the data then this uh, translate to native comes into the picture if we want to translate json to xml or xml to json so this comes into the uh, this comes really handy then so i think this service is done actually uh, let's let's build it and see if we actually getting any error or something so as a matter of fact no we did not get any error and we'll simply try and deploy it and then we'll also test it the deployment is done now let's log into em console and quickly test it So this everything test and everything we did that in our previous tutorial as well so i'm not wasting much time here and we test it it replied hello sanjay Parashan. if you want to check the flow we can check it from here So it took this string and it replied back by concatting hello to the string whatever user input was there. So this is it for this mediator however there there is a lot more to mediator than this very simple example that we portrayed here. So we in future we will try to cover some use cases of mediator it can even mediator and people can also interact with each other within same composite. So that is also something which we can definitely check in later uh, tutorials. But this is it for today and thank you so much for watching.
and if you have any questions or any suggestions please feel free to email me uh, the email is in the di description box and in next tutorial uh, maybe we'll cover a different component altogether or maybe we take a use case of people program so let's see so thank you so much you guys take good care of yourself and have a nice day bye bye